time on 21. Records were meant to be broken. In the bonus round, homemaker Mary Hammonds went for broke and came out rich. You've got a hundred. Now I got That'll feed those five kids. Not for a while. But that was just the beginning. Tim Helms did it one better and broke the bonus round record. We have a hundred. selected from these six people. Thomas Langus, a used car salesman from Chandler, Texas. Kim Goldfeder, an actress from New York City, New York. Jamie Enamoto, a producer from Playa del Rey, California. Mary Balmes St. Roy from Silver Spring, Maryland. Eugene O'Neill, a chiropractor from Hoboken, New Jersey. Jason Resnick, an attorney from Aliso Viejo, California. And the next challenger is... Kim Goldfeder! Are you looking? Come on up here. Nice to see you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right, now, uh, you're an actress? That's right. You're in New York? From New York City. Right. And you're out here. That's right. First time I've never been. Really? That's right. Why don't you get excited? Oh, Lord, I love this. <laughs> All right, and you know who you're playing against? How are you, Tim? Okay, he is our champion. He's won $415,000. Have you figured out what you're going to do with it yet? You know, I'm just having too much fun to even think about how much it is just yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put it to you this way. I don't want to put the pressure on you, but you're going to play this game for $250,000. That will get you over, well over a half million dollars. Why don't the two of you shake hands? Go to your respective soundproof studios, and let's play 21. Now, the object of 21 is to answer a series of questions. Try to score 21 points as fast as you can. If you get a question right, you earn those points. If you get it wrong, you earn a strike. Three strikes, you're out of the game. Once again, you can ask for a second chance if you need help on a question. A challenger's first game, like Tim's, is worth $25,000. If they win, the next game is worth $50,000. Then $100,000. Then $250,000. Then $500,000. Then $750,000. And finally, if they continue to survive, they will play one game worth $1 million. Keep on going. And our current champion, Tim, is four games away from winning over two and a half million dollars. Good luck, players. And here's our first category. And as always, we go to our challenger. Tim, object is to get 21 as fast as you can. Your first category is 80s movies. Okay. 80s movies. How many points do you want to play for? I'd like to go for... A nine-point question. Here it is. Which one of these actors did not appear in the 1983 movie The Big Chill? A. Kevin Klein. B. Tom Berenger. C. Jeff Goldblum. D. Bill Paxton. I believe that was D. Bill Paxton. Well, you answered quickly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. 
And you're correct that you have nine points. Tim. You're playing this game for a quarter of a million dollars. Here's your first round category, 80s movies. How many points do you want to play for? 80s movies, I will go for... 11 points more. An 11 point question. Boy, you're pressing. You're pressing. Putting the pedal to the metal. Here we go. 11 points. In which two of these 1980s movies did Shelley Long appear? A, Crimes of the Heart. B, Private Benjamin. C, Outrageous Fortune. D, irre Irreconcilable Differences. E, The Burbs. I have a pretty good feeling on this, Maury, but with what's at stake, I'm going to call on my second chance and bring Jeff Gilbert out again. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's helped you a couple yes, of he has. times. Yes, he has. If it wasn't for old Jeff, <laughs> you wouldn't be here. <sighs> I'm back. You're back. Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> Um, definitely outrageous fortune. Yes, I know that. And I'm thinking the burbs. Um, okay. how's that sound to you? The burbs is what I was thinking. Um, irreconcilable differences. That was with um, Drew Barrymore. Oh, okay. She went and divorced her parents. So let's go with outrageous and, fortune. And it wasn't Shelley Long, wasn't her mother. Right. So outrageous fortune and the burbs. Okay, Maury, we're going to go with C, outrageous fortune, and E, the burbs. You were half right. It was outrageous oh. fortune and irreconcilable Blood differences. Turn. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. You know what that means? Two strikes. Two strikes, Tim. Okay, Kim. Second round category, the Kennedy family. Here we go. How many points do you want to go for? Nine, please. Nine points. That would give you 18. Maria Shriver's dad, Sergeant Shriver, was the running mate of which presidential candidate? A, Hubert Humphrey. B, Eugene McCarthy. C, George McGovern. D, Edmund Muskie. I'd like to go for C, George McGovern. And you're right. Oh, yeah. 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 Damn, you're a second round category to Kennedy family. How many points do you want to play for? Or I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, ten point question. Ten point question. You know what happens. Yeah, One more strike. Yeah. Kathleen Kennedy Townsend serves as the lieutenant governor of which state? A. Massachusetts. B. Maryland. C. Rhode Island. D. None of the above. I'm gonna go Maury. My answer, and it's a guess. But um, I'm going to go with the answer being B, Maryland. You thought hard and you thought right. You have. <laughs> now, this is the end of the second round. And as we always do in 21, we pause here and find out if the contestants want to stop the game. They have a chance to do so. I'm going to close your booze, let you think about it. If the game were stopped, we would have a new champion. Your booths are open. Do either of you wish to stop the game? We're going to continue. Kim, you have 18 points. Here's your next category. Which costs more? How many points do you want to play for? I'll go for three, three. Of course, and that would give you 21. Thank you. Which of these candy bars has the highest manufacturer's suggested retail, retail price? A, Snickers. B, Milky Way. C, Ghirardelli. I believe it's very tasty. Um, it would be C, Ghirardelli. And you're correct, and you have 21 points. I want to tell you something. Your opponent has the ability to tie you. Yes. So I am going to leave your booth open, okay. and you can hear what goes on. If indeed okay. he does tie you, we would go to a sudden death tiebreaker because both of you would have 20. Okay. Tim, you have 10 points. Here's your next category. Which costs more? How many points do you want to play for? My gut feeling tells me to go with a nine-point question here, Mark. Nine-point question? 
I'm sorry, Tim. Your opponent already has 21. Oh. You've been a great champion. And you have just won $25,000. Can you hold it, Melissa? My lord. One hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. And ten and fifteen. Tim, you've been a great champion. Hasn't it been great? Congratulations to you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you, Melissa. When we come back, we're going to play Purple 21 right after this. While we play 21 here in the studio, you'll be able to play along at home. Throughout the show, we'll be giving away answers to our Internet Sweet Six game. Collect all the answers, and at the end of the program, we'll tell you how 21 lucky players can each win $500 and be contacted by a member of our staff to qualify for a chance to appear on our show. Your first Internet Sweet Six game answer here on 21 is... College. Tim, ready to play Perfect 21? I mean, look at Tim. You know what your problem is, Tim? I don't understand this. You're an actress, but you're not animated. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? Wow. I'm not shy. No, you're not. No. Okay. Here we are, Perfect 21. You know how it's played. Yes. Six true false questions. Each question has a point value. Each point is worth $10,000. You can stop at any time. You continue to go on, make one miss. You lose everything in Perfect 21, but the 25000 is yours. Europe, you've been there? Uh, I have a little bit, yes. Okay, here we go. For one point in $10,000, the Cannes Film Festival takes place every year in Italy. True or false? That would be false. That is false. It's France. You have $10,000. Now what do you want? I'll go. You'll go. I'll go. $20,000, that would make it $30,000. The new European Union currency is called the Euro. True or false? I say false. True. Oh, it's true. It's true. Kim, it's true. It's the euro dollar. Euro oh. dollar. That's what they call it. Uh -huh. All right. You have the $25,000. And most important, you're a defending champion. You're going to play this game for $50,000. So, John, who has the chance to play against Kim? The next challenger will be randomly selected from these five remaining people. Thomas Langus from Chandler, Texas. Jamie Anamoto from Playa del Rey, California. Mary Wallace Roy from Silver Spring, Maryland. Eugene O'Neill from Hoboken, New Jersey. Or Jason Resnick from Aliso Viejo, California. And the next challenger is... Jamie Anamoto! I just want I just saw something in your bio that just struck me. Under under interest, what he wants to do. What did you tell everybody you wanted to do? I thought we, I wanted to meet your wife. You want to meet my wife? Yeah. I thought she'd come out. Oh, you got she... Oh, really? You go get a bucket of balls? And... Oh, that's right. Sure. You think that's what she does? She's home taking care of our child. Probably working on a story that I want. <laughs> so why don't the two of you shake hands? Go to your respective soundproof studios and let's play 21. Now remember, the object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can. And we always start with our new challenges. Jamie, your first round category. Disasters, Jamie. That's your first round category. How many points do you want to play for? Let's go with uh, nine points. Right? A nine point disaster question. Here it is. After the disastrous sinking of the Titanic, what ship was the first to arrive on the scene and rescue survivors? A, the Californian. B, the Carpathia. C, the Chris, uh, Christophorus. D, the Calistoga. I believe that answer is A, the Californian. The Californian? No, it was B, the Carpathia. 
Sorry, that's one strike. Tim, you're playing this round for $50,000. Here's your category, disasters. How many points do you want to play for? I'll, I'll go for nine, please. Nine. After the disastrous sinking of the Titanic, what ship was the first to arrive on the scene and rescue survivors? A, the Californian. B, the Carpathia. C, the Christophorus. D, the Calistoga. I believe that was B, the Carpathia. The Carpathia? You are correct. You have nine points. Jamie. Yes. Here's your second round category. You have one strike against you. TV stars. How many points do you want to play for? Let's go with a 10 point. A 10 point question. Here it is. In 1992, Bette Midler and what comedian were Johnny Carson's final two guests on The Tonight Show? A, Steve Martin. B, George Carlin. C, Robin Williams. D, none of the above. I'm pretty sure that answer was C, Robin Williams. And you're correct and you have 10 points. Tim, you have nine points. Here's your second round category, TV stars. How many points do you want to play for? I'd like to go for 10, please. A 10-point question. That would give you 19. In 1992, Bette Midler and what comedian were Johnny Carson's final two guests on The Tonight Show? A, Steve Martin. B, George Carlin. C, Robin Williams. D, none of the above. You know, I'd like to call out my second chance person, please. And who is your second chance person? Uh, he's a very dear friend of mine. His name is Hunter Bell. Hunter Bell. That's right. Okay. Here's your friend Hunter. Hi, Warren. Hunter, how are you? You know the consequences here. Uh, if you get it right, we add those to your score. If you get it wrong, we will uh, have two strikes against you. Okay. Right. Um, my gut feeling is it's Robin Williams. Um, I say C, then Robin Williams. Robin Williams, C. And you're correct. And That's right. Nice right. <laughs> this is the end of round two. That means our contestants have a chance to stop the game. I'm going to close your booths. Let you think about it. If uh, the game were to stop now, our champion would have won $50,000 more. Open your booths. Do either of you wish to stop the game? We'll continue. Here's your third round category, home entertainment. How many points do you want to play for? I'm going to play for uh, 11 points. 11 points. According to Billboard magazine, what were the two most rented movies in 1999? A, Saving Private Ryan. B, Life is Beautiful. C, The Rugrats Movie. D, Enemy of the State. E, There's Something About Mary. Uh, I'd like to bring out my second choice. Okay, you know what that means. Yes. You know the risks involved. Yes. If you get the question right, you get the 11 points. That would give you 21. If you get it wrong, since you have two strikes against you, you would be out of the game. Okay. And who is your second chance, by the way? My sister from Washington, D.C. There you go. Hi, how are you? And what's your name? My name is Connor. Hi, Connor. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Can you help your brother here? I see there. Something about Mary seems like a you need two, two logical answers. answer, and then you can save the private line. My guess is going to be Rugrats movie just because it's a kids movie, and I know they get rid of a lot. But um, I would rule out Life is Beautiful. Okay, we'll try. Uh, there's something about Mary, and uh, that's correct. The Rugrats movie. No, it's Enemy of the State. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jamie, unfortunately, you have three strikes, and you're out of the game. Kim, your opponent has struck out, and you just won
Okay, so you won fifty thousand dollars on that game. Going with your twenty-five thousand, you won seventy-five thousand dollars. Now it's time to play Perfect Twenty One. You know what that's about? That's right. See if we can do a little better than last Let's time. Let's do better. Okay. Six to two false questions. I love this. Ah! Isn't this great? Each question has a point value. Okay. <laughs> Rolling up with sleeves. Here we go. Stop at any time. Continue to go on. Or maybe you don't want to stop. In the Navy. Oh, God bless. <laughs> All right, here we go. In the Navy. For one point in $10,000. The song In the Navy okay. was a hit for a band called The Village People. True or false? That's true. You have $10,000. Oh, Oh, yelling, yelling, go. You're going? Oh, you know, I'm going to stop at the Why? Oh, my God. Thomas Langus, a used car salesman. Mary Bomaceda Roy, an executive project manager. Eugene O'Neill, a chiropractor. Or Jason Resnick, an attorney. And your next challenger is... Jason Resnick! Yes. shake hands with our champion Kim, go to your respective soundproof studios, and let's play 21. Once again, the object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can. And as always, we go to our challenger first. So Jason, here's your first round category, real lovers. Real lover. Real lover. <laughs> I, well, I'm a real lover. Yeah. So you've got a wife, don't you? And I'm in love with her. So I'm going for a ten point question. A ten point real lover question. Here it is. Newswoman Diane Sawyer is married to what Academy Award winning director? A. Robert Altman. B. Rob Reiner. C. Mike Nichols. D. None of the above. Maury, I think the answer is A, Robert Altman. Robert Altman? No, it's C, Mike Nichols. You didn't know that? Didn't know. Okay. All right. That's one strike still early in the game. Kim. Yes. Let's get some facts out here. Okay. You won $85,000. That's right. You are playing this game for $100,000. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's your category. Real lovers. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. Um, I'd like ten points, please. Ten point question. Newswoman Diane Sawyer is married to what Academy Award winning director? A. Robert Altman. B. Rob Reiner. C. Mike Nichols. D. None of the above. I believe that... And it's a guess, but I believe it's none of the above. None of the above? No, it's C, Mike Nichols. Shoot. You'll never work for him. Probably not. That's one strike. Still early. Jason, here's your second round category. Singing stars. How many points do you want to play for? Well, Maury, the uh, last ten point question wasn't too lucky for me, but I'm going to go for it. Another ten. Another ten. 
In February, which singer won her first Grammy Award ever for the recording Believe? A. Britney Spears. B. Christina Aguilera. C. Cher. D. Amy Grant. I believe the answer is C. Cher. Pretty confident about that. I think so. And you're correct. Yes. Yes. Jim? Here's your second round category. Singing stars. You have one strike against you. You're playing for a hundred thousand dollars. I'd like to take a ten point. Another ten point. I won. In February, which singer won her first Grammy Award ever for the recording Believe? A. Britney Spears. B. Christina Aguilera. C. Cher. D. Amy Grant. Mm -hmm. It's, all right, I'm going to say it's the share. And you're correct. <laughs> this is the end of round two. It means our contestants have a chance to stop the game. I'm going to close both of your booths right now, let you think about it. And now we're going to open your booths. Do either of you wish to stop the game? We'll continue. Jason, you have 10 points. You have one strike. Here's your next category. Money. Money, 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 money. I love money, Maury. That's what you're playing for. I'm playing for the money. I'm going for the number 10. 10. I would give you 20 points. Here we go. The country of Panama named its currency after what explorer? A. Columbus. B. Magellan. C. Balboa. D. None of the above. I believe that the answer is Balboa. C, Balboa? That's right. What a guess. Yeah! You're yes! Right. Kim, you have one strike. You have ten points. Here's your next category, money. It's what it's all about. I have no time. Um, you I have like... 85,000 of those dollars, <laughs> and you're playing for 100,000. Oh, goodness. Um, I'll take an eight. An eight-point question. Please. Here's your eight-point question. Which of these anti-counterfeiting features is not found on the new $20 bill? A. Microprinting. B. A watermark. C. Magnetic ink. D. Color shifting ink. Okay. I'm going to say C. Magnetic ink. And you're right, and you have 20 points. Jason, game's still going on. Yes. There we go. All right. You only need one point. That's all I'm going to use. All okay. right. Gabriel Fahrenheit invented the mercury and alcohol versions of what weather sensing device? A, barometer. B, wind speed indicator. C, thermometer. <laughs> you know, it's almost too easy. I'm going to think about it for a second. <laughs> well, one point. I mean, not supposed to be a toughie. <laughs> well, Maury, I'm going to bring out my second chance. You're bringing out your second chance. Okay. Who is your second chance? My second chance is Doug. Doug. All right, Doug, come on out. Doug's a buddy, I assume. Doug's my buddy from law school. There you go, Doug. It's got to be thermometer. I know you're right, and I wanted to confirm yeah. if it's thermometer. And you're right. Yeah. Okay. But you have 21 points. However, your opponent has a chance to tie you. If that happens, we go to a sudden death tiebreaker, and that's how we settle the game. But since you're already at 21, I'm going to leave your booth open. You can hear everything's going. Kim. Yes. Yeah. You have 18 points. Here's your next category. The weather. Okay. I'd like to go for three. Three. That would give you 21. That's right. I will tell you right now, your opponent already has 21 okay. points. Okay. You get this right, you go to a sudden death tiebreaker, you get it wrong, you lose. Okay. Very simple. Here's for three points and 21. What funnel-shaped wind system gets its name from the Spanish word for thunderstorm? A. Monsoon. B. Typhoon. C. Tornado. I believe it's C. 
Steve Tornado. And you're correct. And you have 21 points. And this game is tied. Now, that means we're going to play our sudden death tiebreaker. I'm going to ask you one question. The first player to buzz in with the correct answer will win the game and the money. For Kim, it means $100,000. For Jason, it means $25,000. Are you both ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. Yes. What state borders California to the north? Jason, the answer is Oregon. You're correct, and you're our winner. Yes.